Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. We made our way through yet another mouse maze last time. And now, yeah, you can even see like the outside through this, this porthole, it's pretty cool. Now, we just have two more letters of introduction to get. In fact, have I consulted with the team yet? About this? I feel like I have already seen this. What are your thoughts? But yeah, our next target is the IT president. But first, I'm gonna head back and yeah, look how many safe rooms there are in this place. But I want to just check if there's an alarm again. Well, yeah, of course there's an alarm again. Because I I picked up some pretty high level personas uh, in the last session, like Oberon and Artavaka. So let's see what I can get out of them. Also, yeah, it's still flu season, but uh, unfortunately, weather doesn't really do anything outside of mementos. I don't know if skills like climate decorum still work in houses uh, when the weather isn't explicitly in effect, or if it's only mementos thing. Also, am I in uh, Black Frost as level uh, 67? I mean, I, I could get it via uh, a special treatment if I wanted to. <laughs> Look at all these scars, uh, but I don't want to go that high just yet. Yeah, Moloch and Lilith. Oh, I don't want to get rid of Trumpeter before it learns Debilitate, though. So, it's really just Lilith. Because, yeah, Moloch is that thing that we fought in the tutorial in Sire's Palace. It, I don't think it's appeared in a Persona game before, but I've always thought it was a pretty cool design. I think I'm just going to make you a very multi-element Persona. Extraordinary power. <laughs> I, I am thinking of breaking my usual restriction against um, special treatments just before Shido and getting Atus, uh, just and also Alice probably, uh, just to preserve canon. So yeah, I won't be needing uh, Pinch and Thermopylae that much uh, going forward, I guess. No, no, I want specifically both of those. Yeah, I'll get yeah 25% damage while technical, or if I'd kept uh, Mighty Gaze, I would have got 20% damage all the time on multi-target attacks. It's kind of a trade-off. Spirit Drain, really? This late? I mean, I guess it can help if you're running low on SP. Freeze Boost. Not a terrible idea, actually, especially with Mabufudine. So, um, yeah, sorry Spirit Drain. Oh, Nuke Amp is good too. I do have Zeodyne on other things. We have Zeodyne at home. But I am not going to pass up getting Trumpet to debilitate via this sacrifice. May your powers become one. I probably should put my auto, uh, like, should have put my auto, uh, must, uh, mart skills on Trumpeter because I like to open with a persona like this with Debilitate against bosses. I am really looking forward to using Debilitate on Shido. That is going to be so well deserved. Fortify Spirit is good, but I, I'd rather have Enduring Soul. Orgaon is actually decent, but I've been using Muff Raydine surprisingly, although Lilith has Muff Raydine and Nuke Ant now, so I don't really need this as much. Maybe I'll just make you a one-trick dead Trumpeter. Uh, no, I already have my Ega on. King Frost Cape EX, reduced damage high and it's unisex, so I guess Arm could take that. She'll still get knocked down by ice, but I guess she won't take as much damage. Or I can turn Artavaka into Sword Dance. Sword Dance is one of the better crit rate skills you can get as a skill card than and one shot kill, so I guess I'll take this. It's not the strongest skill out there, but again, it is the best crit rate one that's readily accessible. Also, hi Mara, I'm not going to show you yet. <laughs> Well, I can turn some of my fodder personas into Yamato no Orochi if I wanted to. Ah, oh, may as well take Auto Mata. I actually, no, I already have Auto Mataru. Don't think I really have Summer of Calm. Let us begin. I like how Oberon by default has the Brainwash and Psy combo, which is kind of dark if you know Midsummer Night's Dream and its whole, um... Yeah, stuff with love potions. Hmm. I've got other personas with those elements, so let's see what I get here. 
you know what? I had a feeling that would happen. I was thinking it was just going to be uh, a multi-target upgrade, but Drain Ice is useless for Orochi itself, but good for fodder. I have Freeze Boost on Lilith already. Although Freeze Boost does kind of stack with Cold Blood. I don't have Ice Amp on anything else, though. I suppose I'd rather take Brain Jack over... Also, Diamond Dust, Severe Ice to one foe. Yeah, I guess I do have one-shot kill on other things. Diamond Dust is not great on you, but uh, when past something else, it could be pretty strong. But I think I'll take the King's Ross Cape, and then I'll probably just end the alarm. I don't really want to get anything else. I'll need to remember to actually equip this, though. You itemize into one-shot kill as a skill card. That's good to know. And repel new. Yeah, a lot of the high-level personas have really, really good itemization things, especially in an alarm, but Finished speaking already. of alarm, I'm so nice. sorry to waste this, but I'm going to quit the alarm because I don't really want to risk losing any other personas here. Wow, I have not updated arms equipment in a long time. I just realized that. Uh, so yeah, you take that. I need to go over everyone's equipment now. I know I, I gave Ryuji something good. Yeah, Morgana's is still bad. Does Repel Physical Medium stack with High Counter? I'm guessing it doesn't, but I can try anyway. Yeah, Makoto... <laughs> of course, Joker's Girlfriend gets the best treatment. Uh, Haru can take that. And, uh, yeah, Futaba technically can wear equipment, but it's not really necessary. And let's just top up Joker's SP a little bit. Back to the side deck. The side deck is one of my favorite areas right. in this palace. No. I'll just add this. It's not particularly big, and it looks a bit unique compared to the mouse hallways. It, it's it's just kind of like to all those people who don't right. like this palace that much, it might be a surprise just to see how much fun I'm having in this palace. Yes. For some reason, I've always found Shido's palace an incredibly fun part of the game, and I think that's because when I follow guides, it's usually at this point that I can really cut loose with Personas and Fusions, because I've maxed out basically hey, every Cawthon at this point, so I don't need to really worry about keeping, like, Personas just for Cawthon points, so I can afford to just freely fuse for battle purposes. <laughs> and, uh, once again... Revenge of the Heretic Goats. Persona! I don't think I have uh, Area Bless, though. I've got Single Target Bless, but not Area Bless. Right nice, I probably should have gone with that after I uh, concentrated Makoto, because this is not going to be a particularly strong baton pass. And you no longer have, uh, your thing, right. Uh, are you guys vulnerable to status? One of you was, and it was one that isn't already down, so that's decent. In fact, if I Makajama you successfully... Ah. I was hoping that I could get, a uh, get them all down with Haru. Okay, well, at least we're getting to see the, uh, the King Frost hood there. Thankfully, I'm not weak to that, because I'm not on Lilith right now. This'll hurt. Well, no, this isn't Final Fantasy where you have, like, the Gil Toss uh, skill, but okay. I can at least tech one of you. I can get, like, a slight technical chain going, but it's not going to end particularly well. Although I actually could end it with a, um, technically nuke amp because of her accessory, Mafreda. So maybe this is going to be a good baton pass. Uh, it was a decent baton pass. Uh, you're not going next, so I guess I'm going to just sleep you. This is why I prefer Dormina to the uh, stronger versions. Now, uh, okay, Lilith has skillful technique, and you've got Nuke Amp, but also Wind Amp, and that's cheaper, so I'd rather go for this. Unless you resist Wind, I don't think you do that. And there we go. That battle usually goes faster for me because I often have, like, multi-target bless at this point, but I didn't that time. It's another thing about playing Persona games, every playthrough is usually unique because you tend to have different fusions. 
Same thing in mainline Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, he just threw his minions at us and ran. He talks about avenging his men, but he's all too willing to throw them away to save himself. <laughs> and of course, that just immediately activates again. If we go in here, though... It's another mouse maze. Thankfully, though, this one is pretty much optional. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to uh, head down the rest of the boat because... Oh, hi there. You're going to see me, aren't you? There's a shadow. Or not. Okay, I have no idea why you didn't see me, but um, I guess all these bonuses are kind of coming into play there. <laughs> what is it with Barongs and wanting to join my cause? I was prepared to just do the normal song and dance, but no, you just decided to join instantly. To pull out. Which you would have done anyway, uh, with uh, the there's no need for that, but still. Okay. I feel like my money's been fairly stable so far. Like, I, I have a lot of, like, I'll, I'll spend a lot of money in the Velvet Room and then I'll gain a lot of money through battles. But there's a squiggly line on the map here. Which spoils there's something through there, although there is actually a, a part of the map in uh, Kamoshida's Palace that you can't even possibly access. Uh, but... So it's not the be-all and end-all if you see something on the map, but as you can see there, there are some places that we can climb up the side of the ship. I have something. But for now, though, we're going to head into this mouse hallway. Is the Ah, uh, yep, that's a mouse. Uh, that's a mouse room. Oh, we don't get... I was hoping that we get the mouse, like, you know, sliding down. But yeah, so this mouse puzzle is entirely optional in Royal. Uh, but as you can probably expect with something being entirely optional in Royal. Oh, in fact, we actually kind of want you to chase me. Because uh, that way you get out of the mouse area. I think this is legitimately the first time I have ever seen um, Cybreak being used. <laughs> also, now's a good time for salvation. Because, yeah, that cures ailments as well as fully healing. So there are a few ways you can get through Kali. It's like one of the rare times that Psy break on. Like, like Psy break is one of the few breaker skills that I like to keep on a party member just because uh, breaking uh, Psy immunity means the enemy is opened up to technical damage, uh, which makes it just vastly more useful than most other uh, elemental breakers. Of course, I waited so long for this and now they just use it all the time. Though this just reminds me that, uh, yeah, one of the regular commenters on this channel, actually, uh, he keeps telling me about how he uploaded, uh, that Showtime to his channel, and, uh, of course, okay. it blew up with the YouTube algorithm, and, um, and so it just attracted an enormous number of people to that one video, who seemed to just be drooling over Makoto and Haru, and just being all like, God, I wish that were me, um, about getting pounded by them and stuff, it's, uh, yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, 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 I guess I can openly confess this, I hate the YouTube algorithm so much, I hate the way it works these days, uh, but that's just more evidence of, to me, why it's stupid. Okay, this is bad, because even though I've skimmed you, I can't actually do this because you're shocked. It's no good, you can't talk to it. So it's time for you to get literally nuked. Oh, it actually one shot it. I didn't expect that it would. I haven't actually mentioned what the name of that showtime is in uh, Japanese uh, okay. yet. Oh, in Japanese, it, it's it's a reference to the Final Countdown, which apparently is a film as well as a song. That's not what I was expecting. And yes, there is a mouse light here, so it is time for the final mouse puzzle. 
But I guess while we're in the final mouse puzzle, uh, I, I there was one thing that I that I promised that I would uh, talk about at some point. Is I did promise that I uh, wouldn't really get you know fully into politics or anything like that. I generally don't like to talk about non-fictional politics in these videos. Uh, but being as vague as possible, I wanted to mention just uh, one particular just crazy story that I had with. Um, with politics in Australia relatively recently as of recording this, and that's the 2019 Australian election, where uh, the result was pretty much the complete inversion of the polls. Uh, basically, like, over 50 polls uh, said that not only was the ruling party set to lose, but they were set to lose particularly brutally. Uh, and not only did the general public believe that, but even the the ruling party believed that. Uh, because, like, it seemed like the campaign platform they ran on that election was less about actually winning and more about minimising their losses. Like, they even changed their, their Prime Minister just to hopefully have a better edge, and everybody even themselves predicted that they were going to lose badly. And instead, not only did they win, they actually won by a borderline landslide. Which, again, nobody, not even themselves, were expecting. And it, it completely shocked everyone at the time and made people just wonder what went wrong with the polls. Because the next election, the 2022 Australian election, the polls were a lot more accurate. So they, they probably tried to reform the polls somewhat before that one. Glad that I have my Booker dying here. Because, yeah, a lot of people had a lot of theories about what happened there. I think, like, they were mainly using telephone poles, and very few people, like, answer their phones uh, these days. Uh, or if it was, like, to mobile phones, it would only go to specific numbers, and maybe it would have been biased towards people of certain political ideologies. That's generally what people think happened. Uh, but essentially, yeah, that was, that was just something very... Uh, bizarre that happened with, um, I guess it's time for another Moonlight Carrot, uh, with an election that I've, uh, experienced. It's definitely the weirdest thing that I've seen happen in an election. We haven't seen Queen's finisher in a while, so I hope I get it here. Wow, King Frost looks weird when it's getting beaten up on the all-out attack screen. <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool, though, on the, uh, on the Cotter's victory screen, though. Through me. 62. Yeah, we'll be around the mid 60s okay. by the end of this palace. Usually, oh, every palace, as I've said before, kind of increments your average level by 10. And in here, Show me your there's form. no mouse in this room, and I know that because I was able to shenay hook in here, and there's also a chest, which is good, and I'll be able to unlock this from the other yeah, side. Let's go. I will take Oberon back. I'm pretty sure as well Oberon, I was in an encounter with Oberons in SMT5 and I failed the negotiation and they killed me. That's one of the few times I actually died due to a failed negotiation in my playthrough of that game, but uh... Okay. It, it's, it's weird how like, despite how annoying SMT negotiation can be, oftentimes when, when it ends up killing me like that, I find it, uh, the TV trope quote-unquote actually pretty funny. Also, why isn't this room showing up as explored on my map? Like, that's... that's really weird. Is this... Is this actually... huh, have I bugged my map? I may have actually bugged my map here. So now that I've opened all of the doors, now slide off. Huh? Oh, a treasure chest! means I can take this. Because if we use this elevator... We end up... I recognize this blue scenery. Huh? What's this? This does a big loop of the whole palace. We're back in the restaurants. Hold a moment. I mean, that's kind of true. Hmm. 
Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I right. suppose that is our inn. Okay, let's go with that. Let's just hope that our ruckus in the restaurant hasn't uh, ruined things. Uh, also, don't worry about that uh, that unexplored room there. That's actually just the end of the palace after we've got all five letters of introduction. A safe room! But with this, we can use this safe room for convenient access uh, back here. Well... What to do? They're hyping up that cleaner an awful lot, but we don't not? we're not concerned with him right now. Shall we're we concerned go? with the IT company president. I should write something. So let's find out who delivers his meals. I'm just getting reminded of how I I had to like get an Uber Eats account because that was oh, you're green, I can actually get a free persona. Uh because like there was a there was a certain like 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 function where I had to order food via it, so I had to get an account. And uh, ever since then, they just keep spamming my inbox with, "Please order from us! Please order from us!" Yeah, they're clearly desperate just to get me to spend money on them. <laughs> okay, then yeah, they don't care. They don't care that we beat up a seven-headed serpent in the middle of this place. Um. Once again, we really should think about either forging boarding passes or stealing someone's boarding pass because we keep we keep being asked about it. Uh, well. Also, Mr. Shido gave us direct orders to fight that previous guy. In fact, honestly, I can believe Shido doing something like that. Well, this guy's super trusting, nice. but uh as uh, Ryuji said, Shido thinks that everyone is incompetent. No way. A way in besides the door, huh? Well, our only lead is the side deck, so we can walk back there. Hey. Yeah, I thought there'd be another conversation here. And well, uh, sneaking is uh, is the optimal solution in a game where the main party is entirely thieves. And now is the point where, well, after we deal with this guy, now is the point where we have to start hopping up those uh, climb points. And got Fornius back. Yeah, as I said, like now that I don't need to waste space on confidant personas, I can afford to just grab all the personas that I want from dungeons. So, yeah, we're gonna see a lot more fusions from now on. I have said before that I like that even though it looked like uh, much earlier, I wasn't really doing much in the way of yeah, they're gonna allow us to jump up here now. Uh, much in the way of fusion progress in terms of the compendium, the compendium percentage is gonna start climbing a lot faster from here on. Places normal adults don't have access to, like just climbing up the side of a ship. Hey. You can even see these uh, I can feel these it. big floodlights. But well, we can also hop down here and get on this part of the side to go ahead and grab this treasure chest. Joker? I could see this a little whoa, earlier, whoa. but uh, now we can access it. Those gloves remind me. I remember back in the days when people thought that the uh, the glove color the Phantom Thieves were wearing Focus. determined their elements, uh, and they thought the Joker would be a fire user, but no, yeah. I mean, I suppose curse skills are like kind of red in this game, but yeah, pretty much nobody expected that uh, the main character would be uh, specialised in, like, dark skills, because that had never happened before, and they were pretty much exclusively insta-kill in earlier games. Yep, we got this big sign here saying, the Ark of the Elite. Aha. Uh -huh. I want to see what's on the other side first, though. Oh, hey, and I can just uh, hold down the dash button to automatically hop up here. Yeah, this 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 has a very cinematic feel to it too. 
And yes, if we can't go through a door, then what about a window? At this point though, I kind of want to use the grapple point because I have a suspicion that it... Like, I know the third wheel seat is very close, but uh, let's grapple. I hope this isn't just a shortcut to the... No, it's not quite a shortcut to the uh, the windows. Yeah, this does lead to the last wheel seed. I thought as much. Unfortunately, this elevator is broken. Let's just leave that for now. And here we have a nice, mouse-free hallway. Also an exit that I doubt will be of any use if this ship ever gets into trouble. Because I'm pretty sure for everyone not named Shido, your lifeboats can be found still in the factory being assembled. Okay, now the Wilsey Guardian of this place is kind of bizarre. Firstly, gotta remember to equip Rajanaga. I think I'll bring Yusuke to this. Yep, that's a you-know-what, <laughs> just as Morgana's saying. Mm, this is... So, tough battle is kind of weird. Because, unlike all the other Will Seed Guardians, it's the same Red Shadow that we've always fought here. I mean, Kali is still quite powerful, but the only real difference between this Kali and other Kalis is it has some minions this time. And I also Next believe up. that it uh, is immune to most ailments. Let's just right. test that theory. No, it's not. Okay, then it still gets put to sleep by that. So in that case, I can go ahead and uh, Makajama, hopefully, that one. Okay, there we go. Yusuke going next. Oh, and, and actually, Kali's going next. Let's charge up Yusuke. So yeah, it's pretty much just like if you've been able to fight to beat Kali's before, which admittedly is not like guaranteed. Yeah, in fact, I'd probably rather use individual uh, size. In fact, that was stupid. I should have technical the other one. Uh, but I guess Joker has some size skills, so uh, he can take this one. Because like anything would have taken the sleeping one. Although, actually, wait, you are forget, which means shock, uh, which means, yeah, Zeo is technical. But I don't, oh, I only, I, my only single target Zeo is on something kind of bad. I guess that would technically tech the Kali as well. Okay, I can get an all-out attack here, but I sort of want Yusuke to get a big uh, baton pass hit in. One of the uh, things is going next. This is my other Maybe I should just heat wave. Okay, yeah, that takes out the minions. Also, that was over 3,000 damage on one of them. I could try for Brain Jack. Don't have Brain Wash boost, though. All right. But just, like, forget... Bra oh, you're actually totally immune to that, huh? But not immune to sleep. Oh, you may be immune to mental ailments, but not physical ailments. Yeah, that would make sense. In that case, you concentrate. Because sometimes when, like, these things that, that were previously Red Shadows show up as Will Seed Guardians, which only happens one other time, um, they become immune to ailments. Just to be absolutely safe here, I'm going to use a Sleep Vial. And just so I can potentially technical you easily later. Next up. Yeah, I should save that next hit for um, Makoto. So in that case, actually, let's show off to Bilitate for the first time. Which is a skill called a Randomizer in the Japanese version. I guess it inflicts... Um, <laughs> It inflicts the power of randomized Nuzlocks on them. 
Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness we didn't get you know wanted. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is one of those conversations the localizers probably had fun with. I'm not sure exactly, uh, like, what that would have been in Japanese, but, um, it probably was something, given that they were... Definitely seems like a, a translation joke there. And this gives us the last one. Oh yeah, Yoshido's sin is obviously pride, I kind of mentioned that. Some consider pride to be the, the, um the worst of the deadly sins, and the one that all the other sins spring from. Which kind of makes sense, because when you think about it, pride is just thinking of yourself as all-powerful and that other people are, are nothing compared to you, and really that leads to treating other people like garbage, which can be summed up as all of the other deadly sins, like greed, lust... A will seed. Well, that's the last of them for this palace. But speaking of pride, we now have the Crystal of Pride, which... Defense Master. That's another one that you want to upgrade in Mementos, because it becomes something very strong. Oh, unfortunately, jumping down from there gets us right near the IT precedent. So okay, I have Makoto and I have Haru, those are the two main people that I want for this. Do I also want Yusuke? I probably do, but uh... Yeah, I'll take Arnthus, I feel like she hasn't fought a mini-boss in this palace yet. Get everyone's health pretty much topped up, make sure that I'm on my uh... Auto Mart persona again. And let's head in. Announcement! There is a mini-boss approaching! Hmm. Yeah. That must be the IT company president. I'm gonna go. By yourself? Mm. He'll be on guard if we all go together. Plus, it's IT stuff. This is my time to shine. It's time for a nerd off. Should we leave it to her? Ah, uh, she's got this. Hopefully. It's been left to me. It's like that show where the kid goes shopping alone for the first time. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Yeah, she's feeling good enough to joke around, so maybe this will be fun after all. That's exactly what I was thinking. Just yell if things get dangerous, okay? What the? Who are you? P -p Pardon my entrance, Sudden. <laughs> Those clothes. I, I mean, why did you come in from the window? Well, well, the door's locked and you weren't answering. How else am I supposed to get in here? Oh, but I get how you feel. There's totes nothing better than relaxing in your own room. Uh, a girl? You're an IT guy, right? I can tell we talk the same language. That's not what matters here. Just who are... Huh? Is that your laptop? <laughs> this little guy caught your attention, huh? I made it myself. This is amazing. To think you could do this much on a mobile device. Yeah, this is how we tricked to catch you into the metaverse. Want to see the benchmarks? It can pump out some awesome numbers. This is just reminding me of that one episode of Friends where they brag about a computer having like a few megabytes of RAM, which was actually a big deal back in the early 90s. Like, like that was actually a big deal back then, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's very, it looks very dated now. Although normally I just use this one as a sub-processor when I'm hacking into a tough system. Hacking? Do you mean like cyber attacks? <laughs> Ever heard of Medjet? Well, of course. Try not to be surprised by this. Actually, be surprised. I am Medjet. I'm the one who took down the fake. Huh? Don't believe me, huh? Here, this is proof. This is the project server. You identified all of them? If you want my skills, I'll need a letter of introduction. Man. To think the website we prepared got crushed so easily by a mere child. Huh? 
Y you prepared it? Oh no, I think you just bragged about the wrong thing. That's right. Why did you have to go and destroy our work? This means we might need to uh, intervene. Because I'm a fan. <clears throat> it it was just because I couldn't forgive someone using the Medjed name without my permission. So, why'd you send Medjed after the Phantom Thieves? There was no reason to choose Medjed per se. Their popularity was convenient for us, though. <laughs> we knew the Phantom Thieves couldn't target an anonymous group, after all. That's why. Medjid's defeat was supposed to be an act, so their actual fall was quite a shock to me and Akechi-kun. If we had just done nothing and let the deadline ex and like let Medjid quote unquote win, then they would have defeated themselves, and then we all would have realized they were a fake because we, the Phantom Thieves, didn't do anything and Medjid fell anyway. So in a way. <laughs> If we'd failed to get Futaba on our side, it might have actually put us closer to figuring out the conspiracy. We were planning on shutting it down anyway, though, so it really didn't conflict with our plans. In the anime, you actually can see this guy sort of forming the fake Medjid. The Phantom Thieves must have enjoyed their moment in the spotlight, not knowing it would be so short-lived. You see, you gotta abuse a tool like the internet. Well, the word abuse doesn't really describe it. After all, the internet is kind of abuse incarnate. The real charm comes in making use of the internet in innovative ways that circumvent legal restrictions. <laughs> That's just a really fancy way of saying abuse the internet. You little... <laughs> I'm sure you understand. You're Medjet, after all. Isn't it wonderful manipulating all those information illiterate idiots? At this point, Futaba's like, I'm nothing like you. You're just a psychopath who hacks for money. What a third-rate fool. Huh? Not only are your skills third-rate, but you stink worse than a third-rate person. Don't treat me like we're equals. I'm gonna reform society. Also, you have a fourth-rate dick. What a stupid idea. Don't tell me you destroyed my website for this so-called societal reform. I worked hard on GeoCities to make that, you know. That's right. It's because I'm a member of the Phantom Thieves. What? Picking on the weak and calling that innovative? Looks like I just gotta ban the guy at the root of all this. Shido, now, you're gonna give me that letter of introduction. <laughs> Why would I? But how about a computer competition for it? Huh? Don't be ridiculous. I'd rather just kill you. G guys So this is still what happens in the end. <laughs> well, now that we know he has one, this should be the easiest way to get it. We've never been able to avoid fighting, but yeah, even his groupies get to join in. And this is why I brought Makoto and Haru to this. Because we've got the Shadow IT president. And Scandalous Queen. Times two. Uh, but yeah, Oberon's weak to Psy, the Titania's are Titania. weak to Nuclear. There's a couple of things that I want to say about this fight though. Uh, the first one is that when I first played the vanilla version of this game, this fight is the one where I got the trophy for, um, don't die please, I need you to hit weaknesses. Well, at least you withstood that. Uh, this uh, fight is the one where I got the uh, trophy for hearing 250 navigation lines. So that was really fitting, given that uh, the, yeah, that's a that's a, you know the trophy for you know hearing a lot of Futaba lines. Secondly, though, you might be starting to notice a pattern with uh, these lackeys of Shido. So yeah. We've met all of them before. There was an IT company president in at the buffet, and and there was a TV station president there too. Most of the people at the buffet were, uh, in fact, uh, these sh VIPs of Shido. So I'm going to Sciodyne the other Titania, and then. Oh, okay, I can all out attack. Uh, I kind of don't want to though. 
I'd sort of rather go for a full four-person baton pass. I thought I'd get a Showtime prop here. Mm. Oh, I really want to see how much a Maragi Dine does to everything here. I don't know if they resist on Null Fire, though. Or I could see how much this does to the central one. Oh, uh, I want to see how much this does. Okay, over a thousand to everything. And also Oberon's on fire. Uh, which means that uh, the only real technical condition on that is win, which I don't really have on anybody. But I can try and use a one-shot kill. Uh, let's just, let's <laughs> burn him again, to quote a bug's life. Uh, and now, okay, Freydyne works too. And you have New Camp, so uh, it's either Wind Amp, uh, both of these would work actually, but uh, I don't know if you're potentially immune to Wind. We know you're weak to Nuke though, so that plus, I don't think weak stacks are technical though. Oh, it, it's gonna make more Titanias. It would be really funny if he died to the burn though. Don't think that's possible though, yeah, it looks like he's stuck at 1 HP. So, uh, let's just finish you. And then... This is potentially interesting. I wonder if I can actually get Haru's finisher here? Stardy to Senna? I don't think I've heard that before. Can't negotiate with these, obviously. Uh, okay, let's see if we get the finisher or not. We do! Okay then, this is one of those me bosses that you can get a finisher on. Unfortunately, uh, you... Is it possible to get Futaba's finisher in this fight? Also, I think I know what Ryuji just learned. And I'm very excited. Firstly, Magarudine. Oh, and Arn got Concentrate too. I want to keep Dekaja though. Because, uh, this is actually a problem. Because everything here is good. I like... Uh, see, this is the problem. I probably need to get rid of Burn Boost, because I do like to keep that. Technically, that's not the best, but can be useful sometimes. Because I also want Fire Amp later. I, I Eventually, I do often end up dropping Dormina. I mean, honestly, I don't really heal with Arm that often. So maybe I should actually get rid of Diarahan. This seems a little weird, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I'm i just going to straight up say nope to Myriad Slashes. I would rather have Deadly Fury and Heat Wave. Oh, Ryuji didn't get charge. Okie dokie, we got a letter of introduction. Making that fake Medjed wasn't the only bad thing you did, right? I want to hear your biggest secret. The cognitive science research. What did you do? Spill it! After extracting the results of the research, I deleted every last scrap of the original data. After that, I encrypted everything we had and put it on a domain inaccessible to normal people. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't know anything about all the mental shutdowns. You were still helping the people who were doing all that, though. Shido, what the hell was he researching? No matter what it was, we won't let him abuse it. I'm sure Shido's looking into some form of mass brainwashing. 